Across Sacramento County right now, 73 John Doe and Jane Doe case files have gone cold. The coroner's office has a special division to help find names for unidentified bodies. And as ABC 10's John Bartell shows us tonight, forensic sketch artists are key to getting cases solved and giving families closure to decades old questions about where their loved ones disappeared. My name is Maria Vargas, I'm a deputy coroner. The Sacramento County Coroner's Office has 73 active John Doe and Jane Doe case files. Today what we're going to do is uh, work on an old a cold case for us. And every year, deputies revisit some of those cases. My name is Caleb Shiflett, uh, also a deputy coroner. Today, they're looking to identify a man found dead in an abandoned restaurant. So this is, this is the 1200 block of Alhambra Boulevard. There's no photo, no usable fingerprints, and no DNA match. Just a sketch. Excuse us, I'm Deputy Vargas and this is Deputy... The case is now eight years old. So you guys were not in this area at that point? Not at that time. This may seem like an impossible task, but when traditional detective work runs its course... No. Art takes over. It's kind of a long shot because we don't know if it's going to work or not. But right now, there's, there's nothing more they can do in the case. Barbara Anderson has a gift. The color portion of your eye is, is right about here. With just a few clues, she can put a face to the nameless. And when you slide a piece of paper under it, it looks like that. Barbara is what you call a forensic sketch artist. Over the years, I've done hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of sketches. You'll find a lot of her work on the coroner's unidentified person's website. In some cases, she's asked to do clay models. And I will sculpt the clay directly onto the skull. A lot of times, Barbara has just crime scene photos or bones to work with. Other times, she just works with witness description. And as they're talking to you, you're writing them down, you're sketching it down, and they don't realize you're doing it. And you turn that board around and you surprise them. And the look on their face is like, If it wasn't for one of Barbara's sketches, Hector Islas may still be looking for his father. The way it's trimmed, that was number one. In the summer of 1980, a runner found Hector's father laying dead in a Sacramento almond orchard. At the time, there was no way to identify his body. After the divorce, he basically, I think he took it really hard, and what happened is he started drinking more, and he uh, decided, I guess, to become a migrant farm worker. Hector was just five when his father left their home in Arizona. There's something defective about me. You grew up thinking that way. That he must have abandoned me because there was something wrong with me. Yeah. For the better part of his life, Hector searched California police and death records. I, I never thought he would be in Sacramento. I had looked in counties in Los Angeles counties, counties in the San Joaquin Valley. Ah, oh, here we go. In 2007, Barbara was asked to make sketches of Hector's father. Based on just a couple limited pictures that they had at the scene, which were not very good quality. For the next 10 years, Barbara's sketch was distributed to a number of missing person organizations. Then, in the summer of 2016, Hector saw it. I think mostly his, 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 his physical features were the ones that, what, that gave him away. What did was on this a DNA test later confirmed that the man in Barbara's sketch was in fact Hector's father. Joaquin Islas Moreno, a man who had been unidentified for more than 36 years. I'm, I'm just, it's, it's interesting that it's really all supposed to be all about him, but somehow it's all about me too. It took nearly a decade for Barbara's sketch to reach Hector. Oh, on average, it's about 10 to 20 years for us. Hi there. But with a lot of patience. This is a photo of a gentleman that passed away. And a good sketch. I want them to look alive in the pictures. The unidentified faces have a chance to find names. Thanks for your time, you guys. Thank you. In Sacramento, John Bartell, ABC 10 News. The coroner's office has a website set up where you can view sketches of unidentified persons. We have a link on our website, abc10.com.